All right, let's take a walk over to the workbench. And uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, soldering guns I've got and see if we can um, determine what the power is on each trigger switch. So I've got two of them here. I've had these guns for over 60 years. I've used them all my life. And this is a particular gun that my uncle used in the TV repair shop. This is the gun you wanted back if you worked on the old style TVs. Nobody back then hardly ever used the soldering iron. Uh, uh, nowadays with the solid state stuff, uh, that's what you need. But you know, if you're gonna need to solder something on like a PL259 or something, you need some heat. Uh, this one will do it, uh, but it takes a while. This one will do a much better job on the PL259s. So this is the 8200 here. And the 8200 specs say it is, uh, let's see. 8200 specs say uh, it's a 1.2 amps, 50% uh, duty cycle, and it's 100 watt low position and 140 watt high position. Temperature can go up to 900 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And then here's the uh, D550. This is the big, this is, this is a heavy, heavy weller right here. This is the D550. Uh, the D550 will go, um, it's a two and a half amp gun, 50% duty cycle, and, and it says 240 watts to 325 watts. And that clearly, it clearly states it on the label right here. Now, if you look up the D550 today, it has less wattage. I think it's like 200 and maybe, maybe 275. So, this gun, this D550 is a lot heavier than uh, the other D550s. So let's do it. Here's what we're going to do real quick. I've got a, I've got an AC, uh, I've got an AC meter here that reads current. Let's see if we can set this up somehow. Yeah, okay. So uh, what we're going to do, and it's just got a little, little uh, plug here we can plug in. I can plug this in, and um, we're just going to plug this into in right here. And uh, what this is going to do, this will measure, this will measure our current. I'm trying to do all this one-handed as I hold the camera, so we'll just kind of position it like this. So you can see my scale here. Uh, scale we'll be using the we'll be on the six amp scale right here six amp there we go six amp would be uh well there that's uh right there so let's see can you can you see it okay so the bottom black scale there goes zero to six amps let me turn it around where we can read it this way there we go there we go now you can see now you can see the zero, zero to uh, six amps. So we're gonna key at first position. First position, here we go. Let's see if we can get them close to get first position. Hmm, looks like we got maybe, uh, Looks like on first position on the switch, we're going to have about maybe drawing about uh, a little over an amp. Let's see if I can get closer. About about one amp. That's position one, one amp. And let's go to position two. We'll go one first and then two and watch the current. There's one, two. Okay, on two, it's pulling almost uh, uh, two amps. So to me, that verifies that high heat is on position two. Low is on position one. Okay, so far, uh, it's looking like position one is low, position two high on mine. Hey, I want to tell you this one little, little uh, tip or shortcut that you can use on these soldering guns. My uncle taught me this 50, 60 years ago in a TV repair shop. 
whenever he had a tip that would go bad, you know, uh, back then, we, you didn't have the internet. You didn't have places you could order. We had to order uh, parts out of Memphis, and it was 50 miles away. And uh, he would make uh, he'd make his tips out of soldering, out of a wire. He'd make a tip. He'd just get a piece of uh, number, uh, number 12 or number uh, 10 a wire, bend him a tip like this, and uh, uh, put it in the gun. And uh, it, it worked beautifully. Uh, Mr. Carlson's lab also shows this technique, although he just bends it, bends it U-shaped. Uh, I like uh, shaping it more like a, a tip. But you just, just use this uh, homemade tip, and uh, it works just as good. That's what I've been using uh, for many, many years. Let's, uh, let's try to measure. Uh, let's try two more measurements on this current thing. Uh, I think we've already proven that my guns are position one is low power and position two is high power. Let's do two more measurements. Okay, we're going to do two more measurements here. And uh, I'm going to try to measure the voltage. I'm going to try to measure the uh, AC voltage across that tip if I can. Boy, my, uh, my meter is picking up something here. Let's see. Huh. My fluke meter is picking up uh, some voltage. I'm on an AC voltage scale. There we go. It's down about, yeah. Two microvolts now. Well, it's coming up. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to hold these leads uh, across the tip right here. I'm going to try to hold the leads across the tip there and and, and uh, key the switch, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, so I'm not sure how accurate this is going to be, but we're going to try it and see. Here we go. Okay, low position one we have. We're not gonna get the AC volts. AC volts. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, position one. Point one seven six volts. One seven six volts. Point one seven six. Let me write that down. All right, I've got that written down and recorded. Let's see what it does on high power. Hold those on there again. We'll go to high power position two. Here we go. Our low power is uh well about about point two is low. Let's go to high. Two point four seven and low is two point two two. Two two point two point five 2.3, 2.5, we'll go with that. 2.3 and 2.5 are the readings we got. 2.2 and 2.5. Now you might think that's a very low, uh, that's very low voltage. I mean, that's almost no voltage at all, right? Okay. One last, uh, one last uh, measurement. Nobody's probably done this before. We're going to do it on a show. Let's measure the current. Let's measure the current that's going through this piece of number uh, uh, 12 wire here. Let's see if we can measure the current. Now, my, uh, my clamp on meter, my clamp on meter will open up. And I'm going, to, I'm going to bend this wire here on the tip where I can put this clamp on meter through it. And that should let us read that. So let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna mess my tip up, but uh, hey, these tips are free, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bend it up a little bit right here, like that. Open it up a little. I'm gonna open that up a little right there. All right, let's see if it's gonna go through there. Oh yeah, all right, that'll go through. Okay, so here we go. I I, I can't go real long, or I'll melt my uh, I'll melt my. Uh, meter here but uh, we're going to try to make a current measurement now if you remember the voltages were only point what point two two volts and point two five volts so very almost nothing very very low i'm going to go up on the high scale here um this is going to be high so uh i'm going to go up to um well 
let's see. There's a, ah, let's see, my meter's got uh, 600 volt. Okay, it's got a 300 volt, it's got a 300 amp scale, 300 amps. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we've got a 300, 300 amp here. Let's see if you can see that. See if it'll focus there. There we go. Okay, so, so, okay, 300 amps, 300 amps will be full scale on our meter. Here's your zero. And on the 300 scale, what's well, the very bottom scale? There's zero to 300, the bottom scale. Let me show you the scale there. Where you can you can read it, zero to 300, there across the bottom. Folks, those are amps, okay? Those are amps. So, here's, we're gonna try it. I don't know what the results are gonna be, but position one, low, position one, here we go. Gee whiz. Folks, that is showing, that's showing about, that's showing about 200, over 200 amps, over 200 amps. All right, I'm going to go to high position, and uh, again, I don't want to melt my meter up here. I'm going to go to high position and see what we got. So first, I'm going to go low, and I'll say, I'll, I'll do the reading, and then I'll go to high, and I'll do the reading. Here we go. All right, here's low. 250 high it looks like about 270 so there's there's low high low high so you can see and i can smell plastic here we'll take this out of the we'll take this out of the gun there and we'll take our expensive tip here it kind of looks messy because we've kind of been playing with it here but you know what it's a good tip it's a good one there we go we're back in good shape now so hey you know i'm thinking i'm thinking wow this don't make sense this don't make sense we had uh huh, we had 0 0.22 volts and we had 0.25 volts and we've got about 200 amps a time 200 amps here So, uh, you know, uh, you know, power, your power formula is uh, P equal I time E. So, so you know, uh, 200 times 0.22, let's just do it. Uh, 200 times uh, 0.22. Ah, uh, what's that, 44? Forty-four watts. I don't think it. That doesn't seem right. Forty-four. Uh, anyway, we know the current was very high, and the current the current's going to have to be very high. So anyway, hey, I think we're proven. I think we have proven that the um, that my guns that, that my guns are first position low, second position high, and that's what I have assumed all the fifty or sixty years. That I have used these. Now, I think different years and different models may have been wired differently. Uh, you know, uh, let me talk a little about uh, let me talk a little about the results of people that have reported on Facebook what their guns do.